Billy, uh, yes. welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you mentioned you've, you're single, you talk about dating a lot. In your personal life, obviously, we talk a lot about relationships and dating. What's something that, like, I know you talked with Seth Meyers about you got kicked off at Tinder, which is hilarious. I got kicked off at Tinder twice. 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 Not once, twice. Now, when I say that, people are like, oh, God, what's he doing? So let me explain. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I'm in the public eye. Sometimes people know who I am. And I think other people on Tinder reported my account because they thought it was fictional. They it thought can't it was, be Billy Eichner. They're, yeah. they're like, why is Billy Eichner on here? And I'm like, well, because Billy Eichner is lonely and horny like everybody else. <laughs> and so my, my account got reported and then they <laughs> blocked me thinking it wasn't me. This has happened twice. And not only that, but to make it worse, they sent me a care package to make me feel better. Tinder did with like a mug that said world's greatest single. And it was very depressing. It only made it worse. Um, so now I'm not on Tinder, but I'm still on all the other apps. Well, not all, the, all of them. It's <laughs> not all of them, baby. No, yeah. I'm not on all of farmers them. Only. Yeah, yeah. Farmers only. <laughs> what are things that you struggle with or that's been a challenge for you in the dating space? Oh boy, we're going to be here a long time. You know what I struggle with at this point in my life? Cause I'm not a youngster anymore. You know, I've gone a really long time being single. And now I actually don't want to be single anymore as an old man. But it's tough when you've been single a long time. You get really used to being by yourself. Yes. And I like being by myself, actually, which is part of the reason that I'm single. But I would also like another person. You know, I like human contact, human connection beyond just like one night stands and hookups and all that. You know, I'm at a point in my life where I want that, but I'm so used to not having the person around. What was the thing that broke you out of the situationship that like ended it for you that kind of made you be like, whoa, this can't keep happening? I'm a very persistent person, you know, as anyone who's watched really on the street <laughs> knows. And I it, it's so rare for me to connect. And of course, now, years later, I look back and I'm, I think about the guy and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, he was a mess, you know? Part of me just, I did really like him, but part of me just wanted to win. I'm very happy where I'm at career-wise. What about relationships? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm out there and I'm looking, you know, like everyone else. And uh, I, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably in a good place now to be in a relationship because for so long I was so career-obsessed. Yeah. And it's a challenging career, this one. All careers are challenging, but you know, Hollywood, it's weird. It's hard know? to turn the brain off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and and it's you have to face an enormous amount of rejection and if, especially if you're a little different, you know, if you're not you know, Brad Pitt or Jake Gyllenhaal or something, then you're really fighting all the time to get work and work that you're proud of and, and all of that stuff. So that took up a lot of my energy for many years. But now I'm really happy with where I'm at. And I'm probably in a place where I could date someone. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's great. That's all we're. All I we're might need. I've read about marriages or relationships where they have two bedrooms. That mm. would work for me. I hear a lot about two it bathrooms. Would. I think that would yeah. work. For, oh, two definitely two bathrooms. I mean, you know, if you're Without. privileged enough to be able to afford that, yes, I think two two be, two bathrooms for sure. And even a bed. Not that I don't want to sleep with the person most nights, or not that I want to sleep with other people. But sometimes I might just want to sleep alone in my own bed, and I hope the other person isn't insulted by that. Yeah, I think we could, we could probably make that work. That's fine. It's yeah. 2022. There are a lot of crazier things happening than Much that. Much crazier Certainly. things. There's eight people sleeping in a bed. <laughs> Would no. you go on a first date with a minion? What if you, you go to a date, and the guy shows up, and he's one of the minions? Red, red flag, <laughs> green flag. I'm curious. You yeah. know, at least mix it up. Yeah. yeah. Some of them only have one eye. That's hot. Yeah. Right. They all have little ways of showing you know, their personality. Show, they, they show up, your date shows up wearing a minion costume, being like, I just came from a super fan minion party. Uh -huh. Sorry, I didn't have time to change. Red flag or green flag. I just say, fuck me right now. <laughs> That's all I want. Are there any fandoms? The, speaking of the rise of Gru, all yeah. right? <laughs> Are there any fandoms that you either feel very repelled by or that you like identify with? It would be a real point of connection, like Harry Potter stands, like all I those things. Oh, God, oh no! If I say anything negative about any fandom, no, I'll no. be I'll be yeah. like you know. This is baited. Uh, yeah, no, I'll be was, driven was, off of social media. Yeah, that was a cheap question, Amanda. Yeah. I did not approve that question. I'm so Billy. sorry. I love <laughs> all yeah. fandoms. I will be punished. Yeah. <laughs> I love any and all fandoms. Uh, they are strong. Fandoms run strong. Yeah, run very uh, deep. Sorry, was I not supposed to curse on this? No, you can. Yeah, fuck oh, okay. shit balls. It's fine. Okay, great. Fuck shit balls. Yeah.